Hi there, this is Dylan from New Boreal Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple character in Blender 2.6. I'm just going to show you what we're going to be making. We're making this guy here. He's got bendable body parts. Um, he's got a little hat. He's got color to him and shape. So we are going to get started. So um, I'm just going to start off with a new file. And we're going to press 1 to go into side view we're going to right click and select the cube if it's already selected don't worry about that press tab to go into edit mode and five to go into orthographic mode now we're going to press alt and shift and click and drag along the grid and that will allow us to move it and we'll just move it down there press a to deselect b to box select and we will select the top four vertices there and we will press e to extrude and press control and we will move this up to large grid spaces here and we will do that one more time so that we have a total of three blocks standing up and now what we're gonna do we're gonna press A to deselect B to box select and we're gonna select the four vertices over here and we will press E to extrude and go ahead and drag that over two times like that. Make sure you have the brakes like this, otherwise um, in rigging it won't work as well. You'll have a problem with rigging. So now we're going to press B for box select and we will select the bottom four there. So we will E to extrude it and we will press down, or er, extrude it down and we will do the same thing so we basically have a mirror of the same thing there now we're going to press B to box select once more and we will extrude this middle up and um, if you have any questions just leave them in the uh, comments about what I'm doing here uh, E to extrude out we're going to extrude out the arms and you will just do them like so and uh, now that we've got all that done, we are going to select the pointy hips here, and we're going to smoothen those out a bit so they look a little bit more natural, even though it is just kind of a cartoon character. We're going to uh, press B for box select once more and extrude out the feet here so he's got a little bit more character to him. And now we're going to press Control r and we'll get this pink line here and we'll click and drag that down all the way to the bottom and then press S to size it down and that will give the head more shape to it um, if you do it without he looks really ripped which you can do that's up to you I tend to like him to look a little bit more natural but whatever you want to do is fine okay so now that we got all that done I also did that for the arms um, if you didn't notice so now what we're gonna do we are going to subdivide it so come up here to the object modifiers click that add modifier come down here to subdivision surface click that and now we'll bring up the levels to um, I usually do three two is fine whatever works for you press A to select all smoothen it out by pressing smooth over here under shading and now we're going to go out of edit mode actually real quick we're gonna make a hat for him so we'll press A to deselect control R we'll get that pink line again We'll click it and we won't bring it all the way down we'll just bring it down to there press A to deselect control R again and click right there and A to deselect and we will select this lower line and we'll bring it up past this line and it'll kind of give it a rim of a hat and then we can just drag this other line down press S and if we wanted to give the hat a rim to it we just press E to extrude and size it out and drag it up and he's got a little sailor hat or whatever you wanna call it now we will go out of edit mode and we will make him orange cause that's what I did before <laughs> he is now orange uh, actually we'll go back into edit mode and select his hat and we will make it uh, brown or white maybe we should make it white um, I don't know, I think I like the brown more, so I'll make it brown. Okay, now that that is brown, we can go up here to specular, and we'll just drag that down, and we'll do the same up here. 
so he's not all plasticky looking when you render him out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, press Shift A and we will go up to Mesh, Plane, and we will drag this to the center, drag it down, and then we'll size it out so he's actually standing on something. So there's kind of shadows and stuff when you render him out. And from there, um, now that we've got that, we're just going to press 1. And we're going to add the uh, rig to him now. So we will press Shift A. And we will go down to Armature, Single Bone. And we will move him. Um, see where that orange dot is? And we will come up here. There's this little tab here, Object data is what it says um, and we will press this x-ray checkbox and that will allow us to see the bone with him within him even though it's in the middle so now we will press tab for edit mode and just like the body we're gonna extrude out the bones only um, we will just do it in the general shape of how he looks so um, you can kind of figure out how this works just E to extrude and then um, I press control to lock it to the grid that's up to you whatever you like so um and you can make it you can uh sometimes i make three uh bones for his arm but right now i'm just gonna make two it makes it easier for weight painting and such and we're gonna extrude one up for the head and now that i've got his basic uh shape with armatures, I'm going to go out of edit mode. I'm going to select the guy that is right clicking, press shift, and then I'm going to select the bone, and I'm going to press control P, as in pair, and then I will go to uh, armature deform, second one on the list, and from there, I'm going to go down to this menu, press object mode, and go up to pose mode and then we're going to select the guy by himself go from object mode up to weight paint now what we can do is select each individual bone and we can paint on him here I'm gonna bring up the strength so it turns red and that will just um, the strength just tells you how much each bone will move each individual body part and when it's red that's the most and when the lighter green and stuff is less. Now if you make a mistake like I just did, you can go to tool and there's this mix and you go up to subtract and you just remove it like that and then you come back over here to add and you will just do that. And you just kinda go through, make sure you have all these bones done. Um, the big bone moves the biggest part of his body and just go through doing this and make sure you get every little part otherwise when you move him you will have remains sitting there I might here I'll do a demonstration so um, I didn't get all of it and actually here I'll there see there's this kind of remains to it that you need to make sure you get so if you don't um, select all of them with the weight painting you will have some problems and I think that's all of it from here we are just going to go out of weight paint to object mode and now we can move our guy freely and make awesome movies so I hope this tutorial was helpful this is Dylan from New Boreal Tutorials I will be